Welcome back, this is number 102 of my playthrough of Arisen 3 Titan Lords. Thanks for joining me once again. I am Zexor. There's a little bit more exploration, um, and basically then it's time to go finish off the rest of the goblin camps that have Shaman Ori Kolkis held captive. Okay, so now that we killed the Gnu Eater, I kind of want to explore this a little bit. There's another Leviathan over here. So I guess let's go ahead and fight him. Hey. Jerk here. Just take it. Just take it. Just take it. Just die. Thank you. Because <laughs> I'm almost dead. Wow. Uh, nine. Yep. Okay. Alright. Uh, yep. There's a little, yeah, cave here or whatever. Now, uh, the mage was saying check near waterfalls for magic crystals, so there might be something here, I'm not sure, but... Or maybe nothing, I don't know. Uh... Where's this? I was up inside. Alright, alright. All right. Oh, there's a trap. Big shocker about that, okay. Okay. There's Mole Rat, I think, coming up. No, no. Oh, I'm under attack? Really? Who's attacking me? I, mean, I know there's a threat in here, but I'm not actually being attacked. Anymore. But okay. Oh, hi. Hi, Goblin. 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 Come on. Draw the weapon, please. Friggin' put the glove away for some stupid reason. Don't know why. Spoon. <laughs> A spoon. Alright, now. There we go. Okay. Um. What is? Where am I? I'm not really where they're going to be shaman. Guess I should be full health pretty much. Going into this. Torch golden bullets. Okay. Dead goblin? Not. Did I kill him at some point? Maybe my spell missed and hit him instead or something? I don't know. But okay. Weird. But otherwise, I don't really think there's anything to get here, so I don't... So what is... Okay.
So I should be able to get in there with my monkey. First I want to kill whatever goblins are left. Or are in the air that might attack me. Kill him. So this was the Goblin King. Okay. Goblin King. Dead. Gold and a fork. <laughs> ah, okay. That was... He was so friggin' rich. What a king. Sex are what the waste of time. I know. Cop and Lamo Goblin. Hey, I'm a Goblin King. Therefore, it means nothing. Crap. Yeah, I know. I know, that was pretty lame. There is a chest, though. Maybe there's something in here? I don't know. Ouch. Just all the way to the right, and then... The Shredder? Six to sixty, that's such a range though, that's crap, because you're gonna have tons of the time, you're not gonna do any damage really. Uh gold ore, hail of shards, nice, invigorate prowess. Okay. Yep. Alright. So that's not bad. That's that's a decent haul. I mean, let's be honest, the the goblin king really wasn't tough though either, was he? Not really. So so whatever. Boot it all. Parrot flight for flying off the end of this. Oh, we're way out. Okay. How's there anything? Well, I don't know. I don't think I can probably get back up here, so I'll just... I'll come down from like below later and get something else. Okay. Um, okay, well, that was good. Got the Goblin King. Banana. Another banana. And let's do this. Uh, usable. I don't need this right now. Let's do that. Five. Ah, let's see what's inside. Monkey business achievement. Yay, I, I used my monkey enough or something, I think. Ah, let's see. Uh, oh, something else. Like a sword or something. What is this long sword? Slightly disappointing. I wanted it, well, unless it is being so, but otherwise I was like, I want it to be some kind of a magic item or something, but, ah, whatever. Yep. Alright, so I got a longsword. Fantastic. Look at rat. Hey. Boom. And boom. Yep. Spirit mushroom. And there's a normal mushroom over here. I was like, there's, there is one other direction I've not gone. I couldn't figure out how to get it <laughs> the way I wanted to go. I was like, what? Uh, whoa, hey. She would just be okay, bat. Shut up. Just friggin' die. Hey. Hey, jerk. Hey. Punk. For cave bat, for cave bats, they sure are freaking under the ground a whole bunch. <clears throat> okay, so cave bat that way. Let 
cap. That's kind of cool. Kind of a cool perspective. Um, the bed. I don't know how long it's been since I slept. Maybe I'll just do this and see. Uh, let's do till the next morning. That's fine. No vision. All right, fine. Jerks. Uh, oops. This way. Uh, hi, cave bat. Hi. Hey. I killed your buddy. <clears throat> yeah, he was hiding in the ground like a coward. At least you stayed out where I could see you, like a like a man. But I'm not a man, sexually bad. I know. I'm just using a phrase. But it don't make no sense, cause you're not. I know. Don't worry about it. It's fine. You say so. But it seems really strange to me. I don't understand. That's all right. That's all right. The world is full of lack of understanding. Maybe not. I don't need a... Okay, apparently I don't need my glove. I thought there might be something here because I kept hearing the dust coming down from the ceiling or whatever of the cave. Turns out it wasn't actually uh, a monster like I thought. Or an enemy. Alright, crystal lane. Okay. I guess that's it in here. Okay. Okay, fantastic. So we finished that. What a crab. What a crab. What a crab. Hey. Hey. Hey, you. I see you. Now you're dead. It's so friggin' bright. What the crap, dude? It's like all white. I can't even. I wouldn't even notice that clam if it didn't have a label. Shh. I wandered everywhere but where I was supposed to go. Okay. Also, where's the lane? seen any more currently. Okay. Just double checking before I move on. So I think I go around up to that vein there. The iron vein. Careful, easy. Got iron. I'm not sure now. After this, if I go left, if I go right to get where I'm supposed to sneak in. Oh, I can jump across. I think is what he's saying. Oh. Uh, okay. So, yep, so I think I jump across here and then. Oh, I cannot see very well. Alright. What if I can use the bed till midnight? back away here not so close to him 
Is this the item? Yeah, Gnome Scepter. There we go. Khan. The leader of the goblins is dead. So, you did have someone to show you the way. Tell me, homie. What did he look like? A big fat maggot? Like a goblin, just fatter. Like a goblin. Just fatter. He must have intimidated them. Otherwise, they wouldn't have caused so much havoc. The important thing is, he's finished. You mean dead? Yeah, you could say that. Thank you, homie. As a compo of all gnomes, you've earned a share of our treasure. Not bad. Thanks. Uh, okay, so this? Because of the Oricolkis. What do you think of this? This scepter is the Oricolki of Ozi. He could evoke the powers of heaven and earth with it. It is unthinkable what could have happened if the goblins had recognized his true power. Okay, so now I'm gonna head. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and head uh, south now. Okay, a slight um, interim pause or whatever, I guess. Alright, freaking jerk. Um, okay, where's the snow? Also a clam. Melee. Shh, puppy. What are you doing out here? What are me doing out here? Hang on now, one thing at a time. Melly is waiting for the right moment. And when moment comes, of what are you up to? What is Hummy up to? Can you answer a question without a counter question? <laughs> All right, Hummy. Melly knows of Goblin Camp nearby. There is the evil spirit of Gnu. God's special dinghy. Can't say no Gnu steals dinghy. You seem to know quite a bit about his place. Yep. I, Nuki here, Nuki there. Very brave. Yep, yep. Let me think what I can give you. Here, help me drink this. Give you courage. Melly is also well ready for battle. Always carry his powder eater. Powder eater? Homies say gun. Have you ever fired it? F fired? If Gozo comes too near, Melly take Powder Eater and knock down Nasty Foe. Oh, fuck. You have no idea how to use <laughs> a weapon like that. <laughs> um, no. Homie, show me. No. Oh, then Melly no what? Here. <laughs> He's like, beats him upside the head with a gun. Ah, uh, um... Where is that thing you were talking about? Goblins have a small camp set up near here, in the south. In the camp, you will find Dingy probably on the table. Khan forbids Gnu to steal, but Hummy is not Gnu. And if Hummy wants to steal Dingy, better watch out. Don't kill spirit of the old Gnu. Khan warns of this. How can I get into the camp without being seen? Melly has seen two ways to get into Southern Goblin Camp, Hummy. Either Hummy goes southeast and climbs mountain so he can jump into the camp from behind. Behind camp is Small Hole. It is probably only big enough for gnomes and little monkeys. For fat, Hummy, better to head west. If you go to the camp that way, you can jump over Big Rock. But path is more dangerous for me. Mm. 
Okay, well. Oh, hi. Hi, sleeping monkey, by the way. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Climb. Whoops. Climb. There we go. I get to use my monkey again, maybe, if I'm going the right way, that is, for it, then I can. That seems a lot, like an awful lot of climbing, though. I'm getting kind of high up. Am I actually going to drop down from above? I guess I could parrot flight down. I got tons of parrot flight, also, by the way. It's not... As far as I've gone that way. Yeah, what? Wait, what? What the? I'm confused now. Alright, snake root. I don't know if this is what he meant, though, but... I uh, climb these other cliffs and then get up above over here, I think. Well, whatever. I got the same spot. Okay, I'll do parrot flight. Let's see. Fly higher. I think. And then... I believe I can Now I'm here, and okay, so there's a teleporter. Is that how we're supposed to go? Okay, he deagroed. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I need to. Maybe I need to do the parrot flight again. Let's do it again. Okay, map. Now that I got that, now let's just go here. Yep. Okay. Anything. All right, do it again. Because. Yep. Okay. Is that an Orikoki? Yes. The pistols once belonged to the venerable Sudi. It's a sign of power and assertiveness. Well done, homie. You have found all the Orikokis now. I will clean these and return them to their proper place. Take this as thanks for your great service. Go and visit Ulvi. He wanted to talk to you. And that is it for part 102 of my playthrough of Reason 3 Titan Lords. My name is Exor. Like the video, comment if you have anything to say, and subscribe if you haven't already for more content like this. Also follow me on social media to keep up to date with all the latest, including reminders about my live streams, which are every Sunday at 7 in the morning Pacific time, 3 in the afternoon London time. Also notifications about coming giveaways when I'm able to do those, special projects, and more. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next part. Zex, what did you say in the next part? No, in the next part. Anyway, till next time. Peace. He's like, I ate all my chicken and dumplings this morning, and now I waddle when I run. All it takes is a man comfortable enough with himself to wear a kilt. It is go crazy. Oh, no, 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 no,